Hey, remember a couple of days ago I talked about having difficulty getting cases for the Note 10 Plus? Well, finally, one of them just came in, and this is the uh, first one of the series that I'm going to talk about, and this is the Atomic Slim uh, 3, Atomic Slim 3. And this has been drop tested, according to them. I'm not going to do any drop testing on my really expensive phone, but uh, note that they do probably have some videos and some other testing off of their site. So let's take a closer look. All right, Atomic Slim, this one is a little bit more expensive than some of the other ones because it actually has an aluminum frame which is going to be very useful in keeping the integrity of the unit and just it just feels a little bit more premium uh, you got a phone that is has a metal substructure metal frame and then you put a piece of plastic on it it's not a great feeling so this also has a limited limited lifetime warranty and it's got shock absorbing technology everybody seems to claim that they have the military standard drop testing but this one is three times that they're claiming that you can drop this 12 feet consistently over and over again and you will not sustain any permanent damage at least to the outside of the phone who's to say whether or not the samsung note can handle uh, the rest of it over and over again uh, till infinity who knows probably probably not All right so these would be ideal conditions okay red we all know that i like the color red so uh, this was one of the choices that are available. I think there's two other colors. Um, I'm definitely sticking with the red one. It's definitely more visible. And oh, look at this. You get a 5,000 milliamp hour power bank for free as long as you receive or, or do a review. Well, that's nice. Okay, so this is in no way influences my review of, of this case in the future, just FYI, although that is kind of nice if I do post one. And they actually have a QR code here to show you exactly how it works, which is also nice. Good documentation overall for a third party company. Now, I don't know too much about ghost tech other than what I saw and when I picked up a bunch of these cases, but I did like the design, it looked really clean. We have what appears to be well, it feels like glass. Maybe, maybe it's not. So we got this protective, completely clear section back here. And of course the cutouts, like they're perfectly aligned. And uh, as advertised during the military testing here, you've got this padding and everything inside. So that will keep all the corners protected. And there's also some sealant here. This this feels like a gasket around the, uh, the camera. So that helps, I guess it helps keep the water, dust and everything out of the, uh, the main body of the unit. That's something appreciated, not something that you often uh, see with a bunch of cases. So I like the attention to detail. Looks like everything seems to be glued in pretty well too. Especially if you get a cheaper product, you definitely don't want something in the case. Speaking of cheaper products, this was only $30. So it's not like a super premium product at all. If you're interested in trying this out, I'll have a link down below that you can use, please. And that will help support my channel and the work that I do. Uh, as you can see, I also have this Logitech metal bracket here. I hope that doesn't interfere the, the casing at all, but I'm gonna go ahead and slide this in here. And voila, actually slides in fine. This is easily thicker than my previous one. Uh, even though this looks like it might be some sort of rubber, it's not. So, but you can see everything back here. It's, it's it retains the color of your original phone. Uh, since mine is black, I didn't really care either way about it. This does feel like tempered glass back here. I'm gonna have to look at the details about that again. And well, hopefully it's tempered glass because if it's not, this is not, it's not gonna be super scratchy. It'd probably be a bit, of, a bit annoying. So I'll take that back. Maybe it's not tempered glass. I think that'd be the one negative thing about this is I would have preferred if this whole piece here was tempered glass. But overall, it feels really solid, I gotta say. And you got good protection all around for the screen. You got the cutouts everywhere. Yet to see whether or not this affects the sound quality too much. And it looks pretty sleek. Okay, so you can get yours today. It is in stock. Check out my link down below. I'll talk more about this later. It's a big deal. All right. It, it, the Ghost Atomic Slim cases were apparently, I don't know, they, they supposedly won win or won a lot of awards, but I'm looking at this right now, and even though it has all the, um, so it's got an ultra-thin, flexible, thermoplastic inner skin, aluminum alloy and bumper frame, it supports wireless charging, uh, wireless power share, lifted bezel, ultrasonic finger lock com compatible, well, yeah, that's obvious, and have a I guess I just really missed a part, not tempered glass. It's a scratch-resistant, clear back view window. I'm gonna tell you right now, that's gonna get scratched so quickly. All right, so yeah, I'm not gonna do an extended review on this. I don't wanna scratch this up. I'm just gonna send it back as is. Uh, I guess somebody's gonna get a nice discount on it. All right, well, that's it for the <laughs> Ghost Tech Design in New York uh, Atomic Slim uh, Galaxy Note 10 Plus case. All right, well, stay tuned. I'll have some other ones coming in later, L later th this week or early next week.